The loss of cricket, as advised by the Melbourne Cricket Club and that by the Worcester Cricket Club. This is a web of us recording. A web of us recording is on the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, visit webofox.org. The loss of cricket has started the Worcester Cricket Club. 1. The ball must weigh not less than 5 ounces and a half, nor more than 5 ounces and 3 quarters. It must measure not less than 9 inches, no more than 9 inches in the core in circumference. At the beginning of each innings, I have a primary call for a new ball. 2. The bat must not exceed 4 inches in one quarter in the last part. It must not be more than 3 inches in length. 3. The stumps must be 3 in number, 27 inches out of the ground. The bells 8 inches in length. The stumps are equal and sufficient for to prevent the ball from passing through. 4. The ball increase must be in line with the stumps, 6 feet and inches in, in length, the stumps in the centre, with the width of turn increase at each end towards the ball at wide angles. 5. The ball increase must be 4 feet from the wicket and parallel to it, unlimited in length, but not shorter than the ball increase. 6. The wickets must be pitched opposite to each other by umpires at a distance of 22 yards. 7. It should not be lawful for either player during the match without the consent of the other to alter the ground by rolling, watering, covering, mowing, or beating except at the commencement of each innings when the ground may be set or rolled at the request of either player. Such a request to be made to run the umpires in one minute at the conclusion of the former innings. This rule is not meant to prevent the striker from being in the ground with bad near to the spot where he stands during his innings nor to defend the ball for fair holes with sawdust, etc., when the ground is wet. 8. After weighing, the wickets may be exchanged with the consent of both parties. 9. The ball shall deliver the ball with front foot on the ground and behind the ball increase, and within the return increase, and each shall ball four balls before he change wickets, with, uh, which he shall be prepared to do only once in the same innings. 10. The ball must be bowled, not final choked, and the ant must not be above the shoulder and the referee, and whenever the ball sh shall so clearly infringe on his rule and out of the particulars as to make it difficult for the umpire the ball to get the charge where the ball has been delivered or in the true intent of the man is or not, that I shall call no ball. 11. He may cry the strike at the wicket from which he is going to stand on that side of it which he may direct. 12. If the ball shall toss the ball over the striker's head or board so wide that in the appearance of the umpire it shall be fairly with, with the reach of the breastman, he shall just one round to the prior recent innings, either with or without an appeal, which shall be put down to score of five balls. Such balls shall not be worked as one of four balls, but the breastman shall be by any means bring himself with the reach of the ball, one should not be judged. 13. If the ball to have a no ball or white ball, the shadow shall be rolled as many ones he can get, and shall not be put down out except by running out. And if the, no, no one's been attained by any other means, the one ball shall have the score of no balls or white balls as the case may be. I want to attain for white balls to be scores white balls. And as the balls to ball white balls, no balls in future to be placed in the score to show the price but in either steps or spade. If the ball shall first touch any part of the striker's stress or person except his hands, then I shall call wake by. At the beginning of his innings, the umpire shall call play. From that time to the end of the innings, no trial ball shall be allowed to any bowler. 15. The striker shall either the balls be bought off or the stump be brought out of the ground. 16. Or if the ball from the hook of the bat or hand, but not the wrist, be held before it touch the ground, Although it be hurt by the, to the body of the catcher. 17. Or if in striking or any other time where the ball shall be in play, both feet shall be over the point crease and stick put down the extended spread being grown within it. 18. Or if in striking at the ball, it hit down his wicket. 19. Or if out under any presence of running or any otherwise, either the strikes prevent the ball from being caught, the strike of the ball is out. 20. Or if the ball be struck and he will free straight again. 21. 
or even running the wicked be struck down by foe, or by a foe's arm, with bow in hand, before his bat in hand, or some part of the person be grounded over the stone crease. But if both balls be off, the sun must be struck out of the ground. Tray 2. Or if any part of his chest knock down the wicked. Tray 3. Or his stroke touch the or take out the ball while in play, unless it creates the opposite pie. Tray 4. Or if, if, if any part of the person is not the ball, which appear on par the uh, all circuit, shall I be pitched a straight line from it to the stroke circuit and would fill it? Tray 5. It applies to cross each other, eat at once for the wicked which is put down as out. Tray 6. But having caught no one should be reckoned. Tray 7. A striker being one out, that one which in his power attended should not be reckoned. Tray 8. If the last ball be called, the stroke should be won six runs. But if more than six shall have been won before both last ball shall have been called, the stroke should have all which have been won. Tray 9. After the ball should have been finally settled at the wicked keeper's or ball's hand, he shall be considered dead. But when the ball is about to deliver the ball, if the stroke is wicked go outside the point crease before such actual delivery, the said ball may put him out unless, with a to the first law, he is bet in hand or some part of the person be who in the point crease. 30. The stroke should not retire from this wicket and return to it to complete things and have has been in and without a concern of a supply. 31. No substitute shot in any case be well to stand out or run between records for another person without a concern of a pie. And in case any person should be well to run for another, the show should be out of either if the substitute be off the ground and man mention or so to entry one, with the balls in play. 32. In all cases where a substitute shall be allowed, the concern of a pie shall also be attached to the person that substitute. And place the third which he shall take. Faithfully, faithfully is not the ball with bad, the ball should be considered dead. And also players shall five fast the score. If they be one, they shall have five and all. Faithful. The ball having been hit, the stroke of break gas to good with his bet when he pass by except his hand. That the trade foot wall may not be disobeyed. thirty five. The wicked keeper shall not take the ball for the person stowing into it as past the wicket. He shall not move until the ball be out of the ball's hand. He shall not be by any noise incommode in the striker. If any part of the person be over or before the wicket, or for the ball be in it, the striker should not be out. Phase 6. The umpires and soul judges are fair or unfair play, and all speech shall be determined by them. Each is home wicket. But in case of catch where the umpire's wicked Bob a cup sees sufficiently to start upon, he may apply the umpire power, whose decision shall be conclusive. Phase 7. The umpire's all measures shall pitch fair wickets, and the player shall toss off to his innings. That way shall change to a good citation of highest at one innings. Phase 8. There shall have two bids for each striker to come in, and ten minutes between each innings. Now I shall call player to buy his physical capacity shall lose the match. Phase 9. They're not to order but strike out unless appeared to by the first weeks. 40. But if one of the ball's feet be not on the ground beyond the ball increase and within the return increase, when it is shot to with the ball, and by so unasked, must call no ball. 41. If I the strike is one one short one, the umpire must call one short. 42. No umpire should be allowed to bet. 43. No umpire is to be cha changed to a match, and we with to consider both parties, Except in case of violation for a second war, the umpire may be the transgressor. 44. At the way four balls, the umpire must call over, but not until the ball to, to be finally still in the wicked carrier's or ball's hand. The ball shall then be considered dead. Nevertheless, if an idea be entertained that I feel the strike is out, the question may be put basically to, but not out of the way for the next ball. 45. The other one must take special care to call no ball instantly upon the referee, white ball is so the the striker. 46. The players who go in second shall follow the innings if they have attained any one stress to the antagonists, and send an all match through to only one day's play, and now it should be rated to 60 instead of 80. 47. If either striker should have been put out, 
this affair should not be allowed to any person until the next strike shall come in. Note, the Committee of the Melbourne Club think it is it desirable that previously to commence with the badge, one of his shall should be declared the badge of it, and that the new laws with respect to such suits may be carried out in the spirit of fairness and mutual concession. It is there wished that such such suits be allowed in all reasonable cases, and that the umpire should inquire that if it is done with consideration on the opposite side. Complaints that have been made this press of some players to an end wicket to an also go for footing, where are appeared that the umpire should be empowered to prevent it. Preliminary instructions condensed with additions for the author of the cricket field. First beginning. First, provide yourself with funnels, etc., as by our own wrists. To play a single ball without grass or pass endangers a wounded shin or broken finger. Grass will cover all. The ball inexperienced the player, the ball boils it will receive on the hands and ankles. Second, show a club. A sort of good players attend free. Cricket while skating is squirmed greatly by the eye on the natural principle of unconscious imitation. In betting, bowling and fielding, there is a right way and a wrong. Inquire and ascertain the right way in each, and press that and that only. It is harder to unlearn than to learn. Once form a bad effort, and a spasmodic twitching of the muscles in the wrong direction will betray you ever after. Fielding and bowling are good practice even for betting because the train and an eye are together, and the possession of pace and distance are essential to both, and are the same in both. Bowling. First, his history. Bowling was which we had a hand. Mr. Wells of Kent, he said to his scout round bowling, Mr. E. Bart and Lambert, in their days of Mrs. Ward, I was of Alderston, Bottom, Robinson, and the Baldwigers, First born this new way in the match at Goodwood. Where I just brought which were present, to the hint, were one born to perfection, and after several years of opposition, had the honour establishing the game in, in its present perfect state. In the year 1823, Ray Wright went to a side of Brighton, and it was then that he and Broadwich achieved for many years a complete mastery for Sussex over all other countries, but the severity and superiority of the world hand bowling. In course of time, the system was cut out by Surrey, Kent, Hampshire, Nottinghamshire, and other counties. The result has been caused to be a house by attacking defence by eminent Westman, H. L. Nicholson, ESQ, C. G. Taylor, ESQ, the Honourable S. Sponsley, C. G. Winch, ESQ, W. Nicholson, ESQ, Anderson, G. Parr, Gaffin, Sampson, John Wheelwright, Hunt, J. Caesar, F. Pilch, and a great many more too numerous to mention. Not only have their talents and skills made the buying of the present day comparatively easy, but all night gave the excellency of it which for many years the boy meant out of the batsman. Therefore if the game is less interesting to some, it has become the the, the, the initiated the game of more science and exciting rivalry. Second, the theory of bowling. Ask some professional boy to explain to you why it's in front of rule. One the boy must be straight, two of a good general length, three with spinning bars, and as we saw the spin, which is more likely to weave from the fingers, for the ball must not come down in there from the hold of the hand, and four, creep from the ground. When also for face touches, secretly fear on bowing, of one, a with an eye toss, two, with associated prayer, three, change of pace, four, playing for catch dummy, and all the mysteries of head work, which Grandpa taught Clark, and in which Grey White Senior and James Burridge had never been excelled. Third, the press of bowling. Grey White used to recommend a short run to the world of ball to save unnecessary fatigue, and there are six inches beyond the crease to save no ball. She used in truth as preferred much to rising balls. In the field, the short strip or the trot is as easy as place of a bowler. He should save his hand from and for our fives from the, from the first one. He should say the ball be to return to him as easy catch, the safe stretching and reaching afterward. Such exertions in bowling put the ball out of his form and perfect position. In running, can solve a ball of experience as to start self to your own strength and keep it. Be fast or slow only, desire once, and press once only. Position before pace. 
this is component of the ball which with the pace is too much for any but a very powerful man ever to dream of. Never break a point of fast bowling. If pace does not come naturally, it will defy a good pitching position. And assign your style and the number of steps to river and other birds with three. Four of which good advice and constitution is required, plus without the least variation. By trying different ways, you form conflicted efforts, and your delivery can never be fixed and natural. An accurate ball has always a certain mechanical uniformity in its start, its run, and its delivery. How it breaks him into a kind of movement catapult. He seems to be naturally in the right swing. This is associated with bowling, and this record swing depends on uniform press. Again, ball if it be only a dozen balls the every day, as form for serious action. But the ball to your tired is to take the turn out of your muscles and is possibly injurious to runner. Press both sides the wicket, also against the wind to be referred for every disadvantage. The reason so few men went by is that they had then style too far to be present. Balls of moderate pace are generally found that exercise are tacked and manoeuvring. Temper and patience and the rest wish not to be put off your bowling, but your luck are indispensable. Both an object, before your force bent upon it, with calm but westward decision. Bowling in great bridges is now analyzed, and God's we should get this score as true test of priority. See Cricket Field, Chapter on Bowling. Fielding. Put his catching, press left hand more, old, more than right. Press fire the first row of the arm, or every single step at most. Pick up and, and in at once. A low airlock throw, no time waste in the air is best, the toe of the bells, and the catch if possible, if not a good scaling long hop. Press filling for long stopping. Place yourself occasionally so as to depend on the weight and dexterity of the left hand. A good fisher uses both hands alike. Learn to rush in without missing. A third fine first is Mr. E. V. Walker, Catherine, and John Gray White, and co direction. Apply your body to anticipate and to start before the ball is hit, and to place yourself well according to the play. First class science, it must be learned in all its parts, but so exercise it as he suggested, and with great attention to the game. Not only press catching in a circle, but fair in a circle. When someone throw or bear the ball to you to try a how much you can cover to line left, wash in and slow. To command yourself at full speed, the start summary and the stop in good form all must be practiced. There is a start thing as of bang. Nature provides an appropriate attitude of every exertion and the artist to attain it. While a man bets balls of first awkwardry, he cannot make the most of his capabilities. The wicket keeper is the best man for general, should if possible give all his promotion of hand, unseen by the striker. The first man must be ever aware to do his signals. Every player should press wicket keeping. The fair in an 11 of a good wicket keeper is very great, excellence here is very rare. It is fine press and high and judge your links, so wicket keepers almost always good batsmen. Press the left hand. His best one will give a stay an unwinking eye. <laughs> When attitude from some great man such as Squawk here or Mr. Nicholson. A first way when Mr. Jenner Fonry will catch, catch of draw near point and strip was so boring. He was ever attentive to save the ball, but fancy and quietly tossed him the ball. Short strip takes the wicket keeper's place to help the ball, throw to the wicket keeper and rest the ball caught of ball course. For the wicket keeper is always at the wicket wicket, and you should save the ball's hands. A ball to preserve his form and position, share his will strain and stretching out the ball as possible. He may be incapacitated by the ball of hands. He may break the point of shake or lose insensibility. Point must stand near or far from five yards to fifteen according to the player's play. He sometimes point pole for catches, and sometimes with fast playing good airs almost a field spin safe runs. Point must never stand nearer than he can stay to catch. May a slow man ever seen staying where only a sharp man can know to could be of any use. Point should stand behind short strip, and on side it has almost all the back up to do, so he must be very attentive to run across the line. Every first one must be careful to stand to save other one or two. 
The essence of Carl Point, for instance, is to be able to stand up far off and yet set the one run. For the further off, the more ground you can cover and the shorter distance to run the ball past you. Cover Point and Long Sweep, or Cover Sweep, when Carl says not very firm and up, the car will take with practice to well for curl the ball, so also does strike sometimes. Late point straight off should be able to throw well. His station is to cover the bowler and middle wicket, and now far enough generally to save two runs. The long field on is on the other side of the ball's right. He also saves the ball. He also calls the bowler, and sends the fish tree to save two runs. This but also cuts the next four. The long way for the straight hitter should stand at right angles to strike a wicket. Some batsmen will hit well and wake more than others. If so, this person must stay sharper. He should be able to throw and run well and start a fair by the ball or the bat. He must put his catching with throws of some three yards or will not touch the ball correctly. The long stop should put this throwing with a quick action to throw the wicket or by will only be obtained. He has also to cover many steps of the bat, both to the way and offside. The neatest feeling is here required, also patient and continued attention. Bias come up pace if once the long strip fails to press asked. Short strip. The situation for the service between the wicket keeper point, but nearer to the former. Much depends on staying right for the play. The first point should be constantly on his guard, as the ball soon should come from the bat with considerable swiftness. In backing up, the strip should come next to the wicket keeper and many a one out has been missed because sweep walked away to take rest of his place. The long sweep is generally placed between short sweep and point, but it is sometimes required by a sweep. This is the of the first responsibility of fast bowling. The middle wicket, on or off, should stand about 11 or 13 yards from any wide of the ball circuit. This situation requires the person's good judgment and activity. There is no place in the field where so many struggles to occur to get one, as it also catches in spirits. Cover, mill, wicket and point is a situation where many hard hits are made. Cover should follow the attention of the batsman and get the start of the ball. This first is sometimes brought in to say the one run, but only when the ball is the first sight. He should not wait and let the ball come to him, but that should meet it, and follow the, the quick motion that told the stumps to the wicket keeper of the ball's hand. If done neatly and quickly, it's will effect, and it's a fair, it's a good feeling. May one of the on dashing cover pin up and return all on action. The young cricket we cannot too frequently repeat the activity of observation and steadiness to most valuable qualities. And in players that become master at both the bat and ball, he will require a of fight and good management. The batsman. We address young players, but presuppose the will knowledge. Yet many old players today know do not press all the fine rules. Stand well up to your work. Fix the right as the pivot foot, keeping the left as the movable and bounce A. The fishing sweet grant may be a little more forgivable, A and even step in to over pitched balls, but no learner will ever attain the right form and command unless he begins firm one way. As the best spot to tell you if you drink away, thus it will keep your eye in the wire in the middle stump, and the more steady you figure, the rest unto the wire of sight. Men who stoop and wise and bow about their heads and consequently their eyes from one world to another can ask for a good side of the ball. The rest of us are scarcely moved till they are charged to lean for the nature of the ball and then by one decides to it for themselves to glance into the posture the place requires. Whereas bad players turn to shuffle and stoop and wise a dozen times waste. Every unnecessary river rests the command of the hand and the accuracy of the eye. Press pencil and play. May the bear be true as the pencil in the wire of the ball stand and wicked. If once the bear is taken out with the point out of the sign, the play must be across. But lift up your bed correctly, the point being thrown back to the line of the wicket, and then as the ball comes, the hook will be brought to bear upright, standing upright in the straight play. Try to experiment the bat and ball on the carpet. Press also in the room with different attitudes that the rivers of the bat. Press straight across the room. I used to spend a short softball, a large cold kind, and went to use the arms and wrists. Cabo press excellent excellently in this way. Also walk along the path of field, and bear ball continually before you. 
Therefore, to the source of all art healing, it stands very wax and press resolutely without hesitation. If you form right, you will really play wrong. To play out the ball, we all know it is good to keep it down, but I ask not to play so much efforts to kill the ball or waste the hit against the ground. Stand without good players for getting to watch him. Good players could almost be infection, that it unconsciously becomes a show to mind. So they have to play for officials, and ask them to tell you what that house you have. A person cannot see himself. They have played last neighbor's awkwardness and unconsciously does the same thing. A love of the place. In pain there is indeed a time for all things. Good balls are the place that serves at the, 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 the time. Play the ball and trace it every inch from the end to the bat. Don't show your eyes, don't play the pitch, but concentrate on the official force without blinking on the ball line. Playing form back. Any player is playing this great difficulty of pain, namely when they play for the pitch and when they play back of the wise. All depends on credit you judge how far forward you can play upright and well over the ball. Play for ball forward, with which you can reach forward. Never is all shooting to swallow the pitch, but once they will drive, those tracing lines still shooting with propensities, so dangerous to the wicket. If the ball is to play forward, the more difficult, because the short side, to play back. When once you can play straight and upright, and spread it in your to forward, where the well scattered forage, allowing any for a motion, within the range of say 9 feet before you crease, then all these 9 feet have become stone stone ground, and every ball pitcher within it is a certain hill drive. Close space to terra firma, for, for a new term the scrubber wanting to denote it. Pitches for a turn or safeguard, they still can perform and stretch forward, such so feet. Which must ask when the ways to make the best of your reach, and consequently of your height, I think to stay, before you will stand your tail firm at its full extent. Remember, however, the most dangerous balls are those which pitch just outside it, and it's almost not quite within your reach. We are riding crowd never had a bit out of this, and it's a terrifying, a wheel further and, and a wheel shorter, and a wheel higher and a wheel lower, tribe birds said no to they are, and the first time person which touched the wing from the time for play is said to be a mistake. Therefore, the great point of, in betting is the effort given the tail firmer, which be eye to the nicety, and is turned intuitively into the grounds, and you are never to stir equity, save for Richard Abbott, but press the same wheel frequently in the same way, for the rest screw spray will set you wrong, I wrong for weak, and then, before the poor pitchers, the pair is in an necessary fall back a swing of Christ. If you doubt, you're lost. Every Christ is part action, and nothing characterizes an old hand like a quiet natural curve decision and a methodical and habitual series of movements. Since if the ball has terrible cross action, things done well are done first by the rule of intention, secondly for an effort, and thirdly almost unconsciously, and because you can't keep it. The whilst is a stage of perfection, the know the ever formed, and excuse of philosophy, you never can bet really well till you play by habit, and that ambitious and experimental game of the new ways, Heavy by starts and nothing long, into which amateurs are betrayed so much by the officials, tends to conflict the efforts, and no gate is right create the bad efforts are easier to form than to, than to part with. They all fall into a common error of thinking playing the old cricket. May fame be a forte, and you bear almost take care of itself. Good first say always say once, but the rest of all make none. To play a good length bell ball. All good players as the ball is to whiff it, or at least it's in sight, for the point of the bat, bat back so as to have the end out of the line with the ball. In this position, it the bat be quite in wide wicket, you find to look how the ball, and you already play long. This issue shows you have been in time for quick, time for quick race ball, like the ball. Because the bat is already prepared for the radius ball, whereas if not the previously find back and straight to wicket, you would have, have to follow the ball and make a complicated movement instead of a simple one. Also the same. Following back the point that the bat strike the wicker to receive the ball, which you see good press do for free race rivalry style, is there for all three by hitting. If not following back freely, the ball cannot stand with force upon the ball, nor make a brain hit. It is this that produces crisp play, if I wish no bearing so much. For this position, the stopper shooter is comparatively easy, if I need to shot down and meet the ball. 
whereas bed press always seen running back out of a ball. In the favorable point of strong defense this, to have a good length ball to shoot and you will be in time for if it rises, but if looking too equally for the wise, you are too high for shoots. Commence the innings very carefully to achieve your defensive, to be eager for runs as fair error. A good person goes in to play the game. If there is any in the ball, he likes to make it. If not, he will wait for an hour rather than it late for range sake. Many men stop a thinking about fair it before the ball is bowled. When the ball comes to the knot, he is his by himself and down goes the wicket. If I start the first, no measure of a level will choose you for your bay. First of three, a very star play. The book about with arms screwed aside, very taking interest in your body and stuff when your arms go for a shoulder, and I do for a small boy. Make the boats your height. Look at pa. It's not agitating, but it's just like the bird who had the full loose of every limb. On taking the bed, being in no hurry about making runs, they had the first O four two to get her eyes open and survey the bird with a attack, and suppose the evil pawn you find the ball as a scaldy weak point, say the weak stamp, and then save ball to it. In this case, and they were not to let one other pitch of white ball get unpaged. Third plan for certain one or two to the chance of being the square hit. Now he puts the ball so much off his stroke as short hitting and over gentle. Also, one in twelve to this attack. A good channel on five for at least three men instead of two on the onside, may have all to watch to suit your way. When you see this, may all the use to kind of the opening fast cost. This may bring the man back to space where you fair hit. Let's just work to increase the rest reach. This also shares her size, which also has to touch the feet to answer without bend the knees. I believe the bus band could by press a long reach of bat, less size than the buff mare, increase bend near your foot. If an inch gain your reach in forward play turns so many more dangerous balls to save an easy stops if not tries and runs. I thought I played about two every two hours comfortably. Bands from two pounds to two pounds to ounce are cherry used. Dad can never be so quick as the eye, and never better increase your difficulties very considerably. Jim Merch be astemious. How do you deal with all kinds of textures to seize your fetch sight? Of all students, guess two is to have a come play of body and why you choose to kill a staff mind. End of the Walls of Cricket, as if I was the variable cricket club and adopted by the Walls of Cricket Club. We're going by Gwen O'Brien.